November 21st, 2009 marked the first East Coast reunion of some of the high school graduates of PICAT TUP, which was held at Crystal's Cafe and Pastry, a Filipino restaurant in Queens, New York. Though the weather outside was a cool 9 degrees centigrade, inside the Crystal's Cafe, it was very warm and inviting. The number of attendees was about a third of the number of alumni who attended the West Coast reunion, but you would hardly notice it from the smiles, laughters, and camaraderie that filled the room. The affair was quite doubly memorable for Ma'am Elvie, for it wasn't only her high school students that she will be meeting once again, but some of her high school classmates as well including of their high school teacher who is now based in Woodside, New York. We were able to talk also to Ms. Makatu who is now based in Illinois. Dr. Pusong invited her to drop by Toronto when she makes her yearly trek to Montreal. With a number of alumni who are now based in the greater Toronto area, I'm sure will be able to set up a mini reunion with her. The gathering was started with a prayer that was led by Pastor Lawrence Mapa of Batch 73. Pastor Lawrence and Rodolfo Vicentilia, Batch 79, who came from New Jersey, were also present during the West Coast reunion about a week ago. Other attendees from New Jersey were Ricky Gubatina of Batch 82, Lorena Marasigan Rabaya of Batch 87, and Archie Mendoza of Batch 87. From New York came Roberto Bobby David of Batch 88 and Dominic Pacariam of Batch 81. Zaldi David from Batch 87 and elder brother of Bobby drove all the way from Connecticut and from Canada Dr. Ronnie Pusong of Batch 77 who flew from Toronto, Ontario 
and Irene Baradas of Batch 87 who drove all the way from Markham, Ontario with her family for 8 hours just to be with us. Of course, no one can beat Ma'am Elvis' hectic schedule flying from Japan to California to attend the West Coast, then New York a week after to be with us for our first East Coast reunion and then back to California before flying to Manila to get ready for the December 5 High School Grand Reunion. Such is the dedication and love of our dear mentor for us, her former students, and our alma mater. It's worth mentioning that if not for the East Coast Reunion, Ricky and Lorena wouldn't have known that they live in the same area and go to the same church. And Doc Ronnie and Irene, who met each other for the first time, only to learn that they just live about 30 to 40 minutes away from each other. In spite of the small but very successful gathering, we were able to raise $600 for the INB and GNB projects. Romel Flores, although unable to attend, also gave his contribution through Lorena. This reunion is just the first of the many planned for the near future, which includes a joint East meets West reunion. Something to definitely look forward to. There are times my problem homework left undone. Love, not infatuation or crush.